after what, four hours of work last night, the 100 gallon is now, for the most part, uh, bare bottom. Uh, the dirt layer that was on the very bottom of all the substrate uh, was going on almost two years old uh, and had pretty much ran all the organics out and what the little was left was pretty much just becoming almost a toxic waste to the tank. Uh, and I was starting to notice a lot of odd behavior with the fish. So after quite a bit of time with <laughs> a little bit of shovel, a little bit of bucket, which then I transferred to a five gallon bucket. I drained and slowly scooped out as much as I really could down to the bottom glass. There's a little bit left in there. Uh, a lot of it will be getting sucked out as I do water changes. Um, I don't mind if there's a fine layer of sand still on the bottom. It'll keep the reflection of the fish from spooking themselves. Catching those guys were jerks because they're really fast and they jump really far. Because when I drained this tank, I put the 55 over there and put them in there for a while. It still has to get redrained and put back out in the garage. Um, but one of them, it's about a five foot gap here. And when I was trying to catch the ball of sharks back out of here, one of them decided to jump from about here up and barely missed this tank and bounced off here and fell on the floor. So I had to hurry up and scoop him up. But as you can see, they're both doing well. Got my Australian rainbows, my turquoise rainbow, Grammy is still being the jerk that she is. Walter's back there hiding. My AB puffer with a wasn't for the glare. You can sort of see one of my Sedanza Slice cats. Yeah, there he is. Of which the other ones are down here. Uh, I've had a few people call them upside down catfish. They are not upside down catfish. They just enjoy being upside down because they like their belly to a hard surface and out of the light. So they end up being upside down under the driftwood. They are uh, upside down catfish is actually a completely separate breed that does not have a swim bladder. Therefore, they end up swimming upside down naturally, which is just weird. I think they're really ugly. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Well, you can sort of see in there. My sun catfish, or the uh, eclipse catfish, as some people know it. Now that he doesn't have something to burrow under, I might actually see him out now, out now and then. Uh, let's see the clown loach. You can see the tail there. I still have to clean the glass. Baker was out about a minute ago. Probably saw him in the very beginning of the video. Uh, and my uh, can't really see. The Baker's there, <laughs> laying on top of the airstone. Uh, my plecos somewhere right here. That's what he does. Ten inch get pleco hides and nothing. But uh yeah the tank fish seem a lot happier. Tank should be a lot more stable. Uh, I need to pull my filters apart and give the filter pads a good rinse. 
because obviously digging in dirt in water leaves it very very cloudy so they're probably pretty saturated with muck so I had to pull that apart tonight do I'll probably do about a 10% water change uh, and try to suck up any less any leftover uh, just find dirt and light particles like that for example there Um, but yeah, the pothos are going insane. Some of these leaves are the size of my palm here, for example. And that's like a medium sized leaf on these plants, and these are just massive, like this one. It's the size of my hand. Uh, and then there's this plant here, I can't remember what it's called. I know it's toxic to cat and dogs. That's all I really remember about it. So don't let them eat it. Uh, I'll see if I can find my notebook and I'll include the name of whatever that plant is in the description. Uh, I added a couple of air stones just because I like the look of a bubble wall. This tank really doesn't need any more oxygenation than I'm already getting through the wet dry because I'm getting uh, set, set up to a 700 gallon an hour pond pump. So I'm getting seven times the rotation an hour, give or take, because of uh, head height and such. I'm guessing probably closer to about 550. Um, through wet dry filter, it's getting really high oxygenation through there. So I mean, it doesn't need air stones. I just like the look, and the fish enjoy it. For example, uh, my puffer I saw just going back and forth, and the bubbles having fun. But yeah, that's a little update on there. Now for the rest of the tanks. In the next little set of videos I'm doing tonight.